Peggy on Tanners today. Uh, Peggy on Woodpecker yesterday. Peggy on Tanners. And uh, John Fooage has just said to me, um, it's literally the worst peg on the lake. Him and Magic Dave are insane. They didn't have the heart to tell me earlier, bless them, but it is. But it's horrific. You know? It's just you just never know, do you? It's conditions like this, it's just it can be a bit of an evener. So, but let's see. Thanks for joining me everybody so we're putting three balls in just one hand squeeze balls on the long line if you can call it a long line two sort of plus three isn't it um, and a few casters down the edge and then we're planning to fish this feeder for a good hour this peg had seven pounds yesterday uh, so I'm not expecting great things I'm thinking 12 pounds gonna be a good weight will that be many in section I don't know uh, but that's the plan at the moment so I figured a good hour maybe two hours on the feeder um, gives me a shot so as you can see the conditions are absolutely horrendous nice little light feeder this point is trying to go too far I want to chuck it where I can chuck it fairly accurately <laughs> So um, day one yesterday, as you've probably seen, hopefully you've watched the first day, um, we drew peg eight as well again, didn't we? But on woodpecker, we had 23 pounds of skimmers. It was a nice day, but we were beat by Ricky on our right, who had 28 pounds. He did have um, nine Carasio that he felt went about 15 pounds. So they make a big difference, don't they? Um, John, uh, lodge mate John, won it off peg 11. Actually didn't win it, he absolutely romped it. He's had over 60 pound of Carasios on the pole. Uh, but second was um, uh, by Richie Reynolds, who was, uh, he had 34 pound. Good angler, um, uh, Dorkin angler, a good guy. Nice guy as well, got chatting to him, really nice guy. Um, so today, we'll do a little bit better if we can, you know, fourth, not ideal, is it? But first time down here, it's all a bit of a learning curve. And you've got to accept that on these festivals. You've got to think, well, I've come down to enjoy it and learn all I can for next time. I mean, that's the thing with festivals. I think if you pay the money to come down and fish, you've got to go again, you know. Believe me, no no one goes to, um, say, the likes of White Acres. White Acres in particular isn't for me personally, but nobody goes down there and wins sort of first time unless they're extremely special, you know. The people who do well down there and get the top 10 have been there for years.
So we've got a little skimmer at last. I don't mind that size fish as long as they come every cast, but it seems a, bit, a little bit slow at the moment. That feels a little bit better. The conditions are just a tad rough today, aren't they? Get little lulls like it is right now, um, every now and then, but blind me when it blows, it really blows. Um, I've turned the volume right down on the on, on the wind. I've let, allowed a little bit come through, uh, so it's a little bit, you sort of get the idea of the atmosphere, but God, it was blowy at times. So I look down the edge just to see if um, we're in for an easy day, really. See if we catch a quality roach or something, but um, it doesn't really happen. Nothing, to be honest. So about 90 minutes in, got about two pound in the net. So I've got a tiny little ball of sort of walnut sized ball in the, um, on the top kit line. And, and funny enough, the top kit line is the exact same depth as out. Um, but the peg in deep is probably four foot, which surprised me as well. I thought it was going to be around five foot. But blimey, the float's gone under and it feels like a good skimmer. That's typical, isn't it? Chucking the feeder 25 metres. And catch a decent skimmer up a meter and a half. <laughs> Only the one though. So no more follow. So we top it up. A little ball grain bit again. You can see I'm trying to sneak the ball grain bit in. I'm not trying to attract any carp. Um so then we go out and try the long line. But I've had to abandon, as you've seen there, I've had to abandon the um, where we fed originally. I just can't hold it. At times it blows through so hard. We've had a bite there, that's something, isn't it? The rig we're using today is 0 0.6, and as I said, that's exactly the same depth on the top kit as it is the top kit. Well, top kit and two now, isn't it? Or top kit two plus two and a bit, 
but um, yeah, just got to make some bites now, then try and work out the feeding and see if we can up the quality a little bit. The fish seem small, but we are catching. I'm not sure this feeding pattern we're using at the moment is right. I think the fish are just too small. I'm being a bit too negative. So it might be time to look at putting in a sort of one hand squeeze to top up on that longer line now. Yeah, and that feels a little bit more like it. Yeah, that's an eight ounce fish. That's a better sign, isn't it? No more followed. So it's another one hand squeeze ball out on that uh, long line and then back down the short line. And lo and behold, we've hooked one there. Well, it seems like that short line might yield us a few fish. It might be a case of sort of resting it, just taking one or so, but that's a pine fish as well. Yeah, and all of a sudden I'm kicking myself a little bit now. I mean, 90 minutes on that feeder was too long, wouldn't it? Half of that time would have been enough, even half an hour, but 45 at most. I think I've, I've chucked a bit of time with the match away here. I think hearing sort of, you know, that it was um, the worst peg on the lake. I only did seven pound yesterday. Um, oh, kind of made me think I was going to be really scratching. And, it, and although it isn't prolific, I... You know, it does feel like there's a few fish around. Probably conditions, mind. I'm not saying like, oh, I'm 10 times better. Look at me than the guy who was in here yesterday. It's just a case of there's, there's one or two fish here due to the conditions today.
so those one hand squeezed um, size squeeze balls we sort of did with a bit of caster and that in it a few dead maggots of uh, it, it, it it's worked for us but at the same time it has now brought the carp in and it does feel like there's quite a few in the peg the only thing you can do is try and fish them out hook them so they go away really and that's number five on the banks enough you know five put-ins both different lines five carp nothing in between not a roach crazy so what I've done is stop feeding all together don't put any little balls in nothing I'm gonna let the carp clear it out and then sort of start again that's the only thing I can do if I feed it they're just gonna keep coming I believe it got one I dropped in down that edge of that little bit of caster I even got one there now It really moved in in numbers. We hooked odd ones throughout the day and sort of edited it out. But um, this particular stage of the match, I could say like six on the trot, just thought we were going somewhere with them skimmers as well, you know. Yeah, six and six put-ins, at least we've caught a silver now. Conditions aren't getting much better, are they? I like it sometimes like this, though, I have to admit. I absolutely love It's just like, you know, pitting yourself against the conditions. I've got um, on the actual rig I'm using. I'm using a 0 0.6 but it's a wire stem for stability and it's like a rugby ball shaped float. I can't remember the name of it, it's so old now, but it's like a rugby ball shaped uh, float which is what you want when it's blowing like this. You don't want a pear shaped one, you want a rugby shaped one. And, that, and I got five number eights as back shot on that between the float and the pole tip. And I just lower those five number eights to the top of the water and that just about, you know, just holds that float. You know, still a few carp in the peg, in there. Just got to fish through it. So we stopped feeding anywhere, as I said. Obviously, the fish have got a lot smaller. This is a carassio at one stage or a small carp but um, it turns out to be a, a handy little skimmer just um, foul hood they all count I feel like the pegs coming back a little bit now gone back to feeding those small little balls again I'm not going to push it with the feed it's, and I've tried loose feeding caster which is just deadly every time which I know people caught on here yesterday loose feeding caster on or short lines but I, I'm just getting absolutely raped by carp when I try and do that
as I said, back to those um, just little balls. Sort of walnut sized. Quite a bit of little, quite, putting quite a little bit of caster in there though. And we do switch to caster, single caster now. Um, and as you've seen, we, we are getting the odd stamp little roach in between now. Time of day as much as anything, I think, for them. Oh, that's a handy skimmer short again. Oh, and the hook pulled out just, just in time there. All sizes of fish, really. Stamp roach, some smaller skimmers, some half decent skimmers. Three fish on the trot as well, on the sort of close line before we've had to top it up and leave it, which just goes to show time of day, isn't it? I think as much as anything that. It's a nice day's fishing, really, all considered. We did um, woodpecker the first day, so that put us on to tanners today. And tomorrow we're on pines. Pines um, fish well the first day, but I was told it would get worse as the week went on. Um, and we're on it tomorrow, which is sort of the third day, you know, the rotation. So I'm expecting a, a, a bit of a tough match, to be honest. But um, I don't worry about that. I re refeeding with these little balls. Um, Using 50-50 Tom Fix and Crushed Expander again. Got loads of faith in that. It's so versatile. Sort of how wet you make it and that. And the fish down here seem to love it. So a couple of fish short and back out long again. It's, that's sort of been the time in the day, hasn't it? I mean, it, as we've gone through the match, you sort of catch one short and go, then have to go long. Then it's sort of gone the two or three fish short before we have to go long again, you know. 